Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at animating springs in and out of compression in SOLIDWORKS Composer. This is going to be a two-part video series where we're going to look at two different workflows on how to go about animating this spring. Uh, this first workflow is going to be a real quick and rudimentary way to animate this spring real nice and fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the spring here and under geometry we're going to end up scaling the Y. So for our animation, I'm going to bring out the timeline to 0.5 seconds, select my spring, and then under geometry, I'm going to go to scale Y. For this example, I'm going to just use 0.8. And now what's happened here is Composer has flattened down the geometry of my spring, so it looks like we're in compression. So we are getting a little bit of change in the geometry here, but as far as looking compressed, I think we're successful. So to complete this uh, compressed state, I'm just going to linear translate the top of the strut assembly here down to meet the spring. OK. And then I'm just going to select all my components here and set a location key. So now you can see if we drag the timeline back, we're getting this nice animation of the spring compressing. So just to finish off the rest of the assembly, I'll drag it out to one second restore the neutral position and set another location key. So if we play through the entire animation here, we'll get the spring compressing and then restoring to the neutral position. Now bear in mind you can do the same thing creating views. So if we drag the timeline back to our compressed state, create a new view, we name it compressed, and then maybe drag it back to the initial position here, Do the same thing. We'll name it neutral. We can make the same animation by just dragging and dropping our views. So now we can play through the animation again and we get the same result. Hope you guys have found this video helpful. Make sure to stay tuned and watch the second part of this uh, video series where we're going to look at a little bit more advanced way of going about and animating these springs. This uh, next step will basically avoid any of the deformation or flattening out of our geometry. Uh, thank you very much for watching.